Hi, my name is Nigel Savage. I'm an Englishman in New York. I'm the CEO of Chazan, Hebrew for Vision, which is the Jewish Lab for Sustainability and is the largest environmental organization in the American Jewish community. Because we're overconsuming the world, the consequences are steadily getting worse. And I think that, um, I think I would say two things. One focused at the level of an individual and one focused at an institution. As an individual, I think that we have to do three things. Number one, make some further change in your own behavior. Ride your bike, fly less, eat less meat. We all know that there are changes in our behavior that we need to make. They will not in and of themselves add up to sufficient change, but they're the things that we need to do to be able to look ourselves in the mirror and to be able to speak up with some sense of integrity. Number two, we then need to speak up within any institutions that we find ourselves in any synagogue or church or mosque or gurdwara, in any place of work, in any college campus, in any student setting, in any school, we need to speak up and say, what is this institution doing about the climate crisis? And then thirdly, we need to put in time or money. We need to give money to organizations doing this work and we need to say, okay, I will pitch in. And that then leads on to institutions. What should institutions be doing? At Chazan, we've developed a Chazan seal of sustainability, but truthfully, there are lots of different versions of this out there. But fundamentally, every institution needs to say, yes, this is key to who we are, as well as anything else that we're doing. A growing number of institutions have commitments to abide by the law, uh, commitments around diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice, all kinds of things. Any institution, a law firm, a barber shop, a school, whatever it is, needs to say, okay, we can't fix this today or tomorrow. We're in the world of COVID. We haven't got enough time. We haven't got enough money, but neither can we fail to address this. So we're going to commit as an organization that this is important. We're going to pass a board resolution to commit ourselves to it. We're going to give ourselves a multi-year run at it. And then year by year, month by month, we are going to flesh out what that means for us as an institution. And the changes that institutions will make will change depending on what kind of an institution it is. But that's how collectively we start to drive systemic change.